the next up is our recognition of Alachua County's Office of the Jail on their accreditation. So if you all will please come forward. The microphone over here. And man, uh, Madam Chair, if, um, if I might, while they're stepping forward, it was uh, Alachua County Day before the Florida Accreditation Commission. It was very nice to share that with the Alachua County Department of the Jail. And I thought it was important to not only recognize the hard work of our staff, but of their staff as well, um, because it is a lot of hard work. And to do so um, it, it, under certain um, circumstances, you know, we're very proud of what they've managed uh, to accomplish with their reaccreditation. And not only is it a reaccreditation, it's an Excelsior accreditation, which they'll explain is the highest level of accreditation that you can achieve. And um, when they announced the accreditations, they, they talked about us meeting 70 some standards. When they got to the Department of the Jail, it was 200 and some standards that they met and did not request any waivers or get any exemptions from. And they had met all 200 plus standards. And I just found that absolutely amazing um, and truly a credit to the hard work and dedication of those people that are um, employed with the department of the jail so with that i'll turn it over to the sheriff welcome sir madam chair and commissioners <clears throat> emory ganey sheriff of Alachua county we're absolutely thrilled to be able to announce uh, the reaccreditation of the department of the jail 262 standards which they met i uh, should also mention that uh, was first accredited when i was here a number of years ago and with the uh, office in 1999 and have been reaccredited eight times since then. This is the fourth Excelsior Award at the Department of Jail. And I think this is particularly telling given uh, the uh, discussions we've had with the commission about the shortage of staff. Uh, that further proves that the men and women that are there are dedicated, they are committed to excellence. This award proves that every single day. Surely, as we've talked about, we've got to get them some help and relief. We're on a mission to do that, to fill open slots. But we can't go without making a particular point, despite the shortage of the work that they're doing every single day. So the inmates are safe, the fellow officers are safe, the public is safe, because these men and women have given up days off, they work extra hours, and they're committed to excellence. Uh, staff that we have here, obviously, uh, and he has the award, Deputy Director Swallows, Major Cloutier, and these two gentlemen, obviously, we asked to come back in uh, my administration, and I know you know both the faces and the names. They're back with us. Captain Kaylee Beal, who leads that effort for us, uh, and all our accreditation standards, her and her team, and members of the jail. I'm gonna skip a minute and go over to John Morehouse, who has been with us and came back. I've known John for 40 years, who agreed to come back with us as well. He's my Chief of Staff. Uh, Sergeant Frank Kinsey, who has taken over our Public Information, Public Relations um, Bureau. He's been there before. Uh, and then our newest member of our staff, you may recognize this face, uh, Lisa Sacasio, who's the morning anchor on TV20. Uh, we're able to snag her and bring a board on our staff as well. So uh, we're thrilled to have her as part of our team and our overall team. One comment I will make, um, that the uh, accreditation team was particularly uh, commented on and interested in is the fact that we have a library district in our Department of Jail and that commitment uh, that's there as well. A um, lot of questions and inquiry about that uh, and how we successfully done that as a community. Obviously, it's partnerships. Uh, so particularly, um, they were particularly interested in that. Uh, it's a separate note, but just to make a note, uh, last week, was it, Major? Uh, the fall, uh, group from the Florida Motor Jail Standards came in on an unannounced visit flying colors on that as well. Totally separate from this one, but again, uh, unannounced in the jail uh, and passing and raving reviews there as well. Thank you, Madam Chair. Did they get a picture? Uh, yeah, yeah, let them get their picture. Did you get a picture? While they are, please. <laughs> Do you have something else you wanted to say? Okay. Uh, Commissioner Cornell? Thank you, Madam Chair. Uh, congratulations, Sheriff. Pretty amazing based on the current staffing levels. Who, who actually was on the reaccreditation team? I would love to hear from them if they, uh, and who made up that team? Because I know 
I know these are all new folks, and I'm really glad to see you all, um, but I also want to recognize that team. Um, Kaylee Beal, uh, captain here at the Sheriff's Office, and I'm the accreditation commander. I've um, been doing that job since 2015 on the law enforcement uh, side as well as the jail, and I assist in the communications. Um, Kat Odom was our public information office um, administrative specialist who assisted me in file building. Um, also, um, Officer John Hoover assisted me from a jail standpoint in getting our files built. Uh, that was our core team um, for in preparation. And then for the, the team itself, Lieutenant uh, Jason Cruz assisted me quite a bit. Also, um, Sergeant um, Pam, I'm forgetting her last name, James, Pamela James, and uh, Lieutenant Jurelius Reams um, also assisted in that process. So that was our core group. It, and it takes, it takes a team to be able to do that successfully. No one person can help us get accredited. So I really do appreciate the work um, and the buy-in from, from command staff as well um, in getting us accredited. It's, like I said, it's an ongoing effort. We're proud to do it, and we want to continue that as long as we possibly can. We are one of the first to be accredited through the state of Florida at the jail system. So, Thank you, Captain. Thank you, Sheriff. Thank you. Thank you all.